Hello everybody, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pometto. Today we're gonna take a look at a video um, of a woman in Australia. You may have already seen this video. Becoming a sovereign citizen, it appears to be perhaps her first or second day of being a sovereign citizen. And she engages in a, a, a hilarious, entertaining, and interesting um, interaction with the police in Australia. So thank you everybody for tuning in. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I have a new channel called Libertarian Front. Check it out in the description below where Joe talks politics. I've always, I've wanted a channel uh, for a while where I talk politics. Uh, check it out for me, please. Subscribe, like, comment, and share to help support it. Um, and check it out, see if you like the content. Now, before we watch this video and then afterwards, I'm going to provide my hilarious um, dialogue on it. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Oh, and one more thing. Go Steelers, baby. Go Steelers. Playoffs this weekend. The Buffalo Bills, we're coming for you. Um, it's, it's private. private. So, so it's privately, privately owned. owned? Okay. So uh, I'm not does interested it... in any state of New South Wales? Um, no, I'm not part of the state. No, okay, no, okay. Do you have any identification on you? I do. Just, Just going to ask for identification. Just pulling out my... Okay. 
So these are my registered plates yep. with the state. Yep. But so when did you take those off? Yesterday. I'm not part of the state. Okay. And that's my property, so. Well, it's not my property, but it is. It's at the moment it becomes property of the state. Exactly. Isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I'm not property of the state, so you can't take me. And rightfully, rightfully, because they're registered, they should not be able to be displayed. It's unlawfully displayed because it's displayed as a registration plate, which it's not. So, on private property. On if, private we put, property. if we put those on now, should we want to go? Well, she's facing some fines at the moment, theoretically. Um, but yes, for her to drive the vehicle, these need to be displayed because it is registered in Victoria and that's what is exempting her from requiring New South Wales registration to drive on the roads here in New South Wales. The public roads. Your opinions can be whatever they want to be, that's fine. I'm, I'm not arguing with you there, but unfortunately the law is the law in this state and that's what we need to... LAW, yes. Okay, so I'm not going to get into a, into a discussion with you about what your beliefs are. That's fine. You're welcome to have whatever beliefs you like. Oh, I can identify as what I want too. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not arguing with that. You can do whatever you want. That's yeah, fine. Cool. But these need to be displayed on your vehicle for you to be driving into New South Wales. Okay? Oh, and really. Any state. Really. You've got to say that. Yep. Get out of here. All right, but um, I've got a little job to go. I'm good. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm so... Did you find your driver's license there? Your Victoria? Uh, can I have my property back here? I'll give it back to you and I'll finish talking to you about it So do you still reside at that address on your license or have you moved from there? Now you're living out there, right? Well, I'm kind of in and out of time, car left. Give me a second, I'll make a couple more inquiries, okay? Don't have the fines. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm talking about it. Oh, you don't have to. Like, who cares? It doesn't bother me anyway. They get sent back. Yeah. Just keep sending them back. They're not, they're not lawful anyway. They don't affect me. I just write a letter and they, they can't. Uh... We don't need, I don't need that. I don't need sympathy. I need some people to stand up around here. Thank you. Um, these need to be displayed on your vehicle. As I've right. told, those ones can't be. Maybe. So what happens when I no longer have a registration? So because they're still up to register to them in the last month. Yeah. So after that happens, then technically, because I'm not part of the state, well, only if I'm part of the state with plates. But well, without, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm here to talk about is the yes. legislation in New South Wales. Okay, I'm not here to talk about whatever legislation you're what about deciding to operate under. Not one small area. What about universal? Not what we're here for. Okay. So. Your license is current, that's fine, it's all active, that's all good. But I need oh, this handy. Okay, okay. Do you want thank you. So they need to be removed and these need to be displayed correctly. Okay. All right, so you're going to receive two fines in the mail to that address on your license in relation to not displaying the correct number of plates and to displaying the correct number of plates. Both are not okay. actual criminal offences, but... I'm not going to argue with you, I've said you that. Don't all right. Um, they, they, don't, they, don't they, send, they will be sent to that address on your license within seven to ten business days and have all your disposal options on them. can we do what can we do with someone like this you know the video starts out she says I'm private I'm private individual and we know from there we know from there it's all downhill let me jump right into my favorite part 
her ID card. Now, she's somebody who appears to be newly indoctrinated. She likely paid money for this card. She paid money for it. And it says on it, it says first breath, first breath. So I imagine your first breath is on the same day as your birth date. Maybe it includes, maybe it includes the actual time when you took that first breath. Okay. Uh, but it's the same as the birth date. What are you trying to imply, ma'am? That you're more alive or that you breathe more air and oxygen than the rest of us? Do you breathe more than us? Uh, and then, and then it has, it has a uh, first breath location. And the, the answer is earth. I sure, I sure as heck hope it's earth. I, I can't wait to see Mars on there though. Though watch me, you know, I should watch myself because that may actually be the truth some day soon. Um, they asked why the plates are not being displayed. She said, I'm going sovereign. That's the first sign of a rookie or amateur sovereign citizen is they actually use the word sovereign. The good ones, we know this, the good ones will never admit that. Um, she's without the plates because she's outside society. She says that when the end, it ends up in court, it will get thrown out. Perhaps it will, but it will not be because of the nonsense that you say to the judge. I promise you that. It will not be because of your nonsense. Now, we know she's new because she said, well, I'm becoming sovereign. And she took the plates off yesterday, which makes sense because how many days in a row can you drive without license plates before you get pulled over? <laughs> so she probably made it at least one full day. She says, I'm not property of the state. Well, none of us really are, but we do have to follow the laws of the state. We, yes, we do. Um, there was a strange interaction with the female officer there where, where she spelled the word law. She was like L-A-W. And then when I watched it again, it sounded like the female officer said law with an R. Is that what that was about or did I miss something there? Um, or maybe it was just the Australian accent, which I really like. I really like an Australian accent. Um, so, you know, she's driving away and she's like, that did not go well. Let me tell you, ma'am. It went very well, considering your nonsense and considering what happens to a lot of other sovereign citizens. And if anything, you need to thank the gentleman next to you. I don't know if that's your dad, your uncle, a friend, because he saved your butt. Because if he said, he said, if we put the plates back on, well, she'll be able to drive. So he's the whole reason you were able to drive out of there and not have to deal with a whole nother headache of either getting your car towed or ending up in jail. So thank that gentleman, although he needs to do a little more by talking you out of the nonsense. Um, and, you know, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. This, this, poor, this poor soul, you know, she's new. Maybe she can still be de-indoctrinated. It's the people like this because she's got good plates. She has a driver's license that really worry me because they have no reason to become sovereign citizens. You know, the people who have criminal records or their license plate, I, I, I actually sympathize a little bit, but I can understand why they would grab onto this. They have no other choice, right? Their life is jammed up in 10 different ways. But a woman like this appears to have her stuff together and makes a conscious choice to go down this path. Come back, come back to us. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Pimento, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, check out my other channel, The Libertarian Front, so we can talk politics. All right, thank you very much.